Welcome back to another AWSMR. And I'm only doing a second one of these because my dog's trying to sleep and I don't want to wake her up. She's tuckered out after a long day of playing. Anyway, I'm your host, Philip the Flying Cholup. And today we got yet another tournament qualifier. As here comes the uh, Phantom Thieves. Though, unlike before, where it was uh, Joker and Morgana, he has now brought along his bro, Ryuji, as Morgana is a former shit title champion. So, like, wh why would you use him to try to win a tag belt? Like, it wouldn't really make much sense. Even though there is the Freebird rule, but, uh, anyway, uh, for those who don't know, uh, the tag tournament, tag type tournament's coming up, and, uh, we have some confirmed teams such as the Pancake Posse, the Diets of Demise, Blues Brothers, the, uh, Undug Speeded Era, and, uh, recent additions being the, uh, Insane Clown Posse. So today, the uh, Phantom Thieves will be uh, facing off against... I already forgot who they're facing. I actually don't know yet. But that's okay, though. Because uh, this is kind of their uh, second chance. As uh, if they do win this tournament, they could potentially face Scoreboy Ketchum. Which is awkward, as they're both Phantom Thieves. So... That could be some drama, as they want to steal Dan's heart. But, they have an obstacle to get through. Another team that's hungry and wanting it. That's right. The team of Joe Mama is here. Oh, and another confirmed tag team is, uh, Guptill and Rainbow Hulk. They're gonna, they're getting their championship reclaws in the tournament. But, uh, here comes Joe Mama, the team of Joe Swanson, and the man behind the Joe Rogan experience. Joe Rogan. Now, we did previously see them in the tables match, and while they were the first ones eliminated, they were quite impressive with their physicality. Also, it appears Joe has a new look, as he is now sporting an 80s look rather than its usual uh, current day look, hoping it will give him extra power. Extra power. As you all can see here, Joe still has his red cup. I still have no clue what is inside the red cup. It could honestly be anything. It could be cannabis. It could be the Phantom Thieves awkwardly walking in front of them during their entrance. <laughs> God, I love these two. Anyway, uh, it could even be... It could even be his editor, Jamie. You never know. The way, it's a nice cape and a nice samurai hat. And, uh, in a way, this match is kind of both of their second chance to really make it as a tag team. Because both of their first matches were not very successful. So, uh, a losing streak will end here tonight, but, uh, looks like the Joes have quite the advantage. Rogan with the impressive flippy flip followed by punches. And Joe just was with AWS Pop Stato and uh, doing these early pins. Like, it makes no sense, and that's the reason why uh, Ryuji Skull, or as I like to call him, Florida Man, that's why he's on top now. You did this to yourselves, Joseph Mothers. Nobody else but you. But that was a lovely snooze cameo, but anyway. You see, uh, Black Ref from, uh, Super Zack Show is making a cameo, as, uh, the ref's been a bit of a revolving door lately. Oh, and, uh, this is also a chairs match, meaning every weapon usable in this, uh, match is a chair. But there's a twist to the chairs. As you can see, they're all Samoa Joe chairs. And just like most matches, there's almost a chair shot, but then it gets kicked out, so we'll probably never see it again. Wait, what is Joe doing? What is he? Oh! Holy shit. Joe Rogan with an awesome pile driver. One, 
I am surprised Florida Man kicked, or Ryuji kicked out of that after one. That is freaking wow. It's a Joker, not to be confused with the uh, cuckold Joker that uh, lost to Homer. Fan of these double pin. Alright, one Joe kicks out. Another Joe kicks out. But yeah, uh, appears that a Joker using that Samoa Joe chair, as those were the only chairs we could use. These two are definitely have their own uh, thing going on. It's like watching two singles matches at the same time. As for why this match style is different, I just wanted to change it up. And here comes another Samoa Joe chair. But Rogan does not like Samoa Joe chairs. It appears that a uh, Skull does not know how to really use them properly. But it appears that now Rogan wants him to take a nap. Shades of uh, Morgana, the cat. As he al also uses that move. But, thank but luckily for uh, Raiji, he's got enough experience with his rivalry with the cat to know how to get out. Got a it appears that Joe Swanson has eliminated Joker. Ryuji will need to pull off a miracle run if he hopes to uh, stop these Joes. And he appears to have a lot of fight in him. Can Ryuji pull off a major upset? Or will that happen? I honestly don't know, but... Oh god, he's getting mugged by these Joes. Look at all these Joes. Oh god, those kicks, too. Just... Oh god, that, that might be it. This might be a squash. A. Two. Oh, wait! He kicked out! Holy crap! Dude, freaking Skull's got the heart of a warrior right now. I am impressed with him. I am very impressed with the Florida of the Skull. Like, like he may be getting his ass as Joe gets on his invisible treadmill before Rogan wakes him up. What are these two planning? A little miscommunication between the two. Will that cost them? <gasps> Holy crap! Ryuji just knocked both of them down. And now he's got the weapon. Can he use this well? He does not know how to use a weapon, and it cut his face up for it. But he's still in the game, though, which is still very impressive. He's got to use everything he's got for the... Oh god, Joe with a deadlift! A second deadlift. Oh. And then the fall by the chair shot. These Joes know how to work together. They ain't Joe Schmoes, let me tell ya. Ha ha ha. Kill me. As a random barrier appears, and it appears that uh, the Joes will move on to the tag at Tournament of Power. Phantom Thieves, it looks like you won't be stealing any hearts anytime soon, but Ray G does have resiliency. Joker, though, yeah, he, he just kind of got squashed, like, that was a little bit pathetic, a little bit. It's much better at fighting demons than he, like, he can, Joker can freaking take down, like, freaking being with godlike powers, but, oh, hi, doggy. Joker can take down a being with godlike powers, but 80s Joe, man, and Joe Rogan, he, he's, 80s Joe is too powerful. As, look at those Joe's chest bump. That was so manly. I freaking love it. I can't stay mad at these two. It appears Joe going 80s with the bullet may have been their key to success the whole time. How will they prevail in the tournament? Find out when we actually get decent quality again. Till then, ch-ch-ch-chow.